Now, Rufus has always had nightmares, and his mom's murder has only made those nightmares worse. She was the one who always used to comfort him when he woke up. He is not sure where to turn now. Rufus fell asleep on the couch at his aunt's house. He had been up most of the night with the bad dreams he first told us about the day after his mom's murder. People shooting, my mom getting killed, my dad getting killed, me getting killed. His dad died last year, and police are still looking for the man who killed his mom on Division Avenue Northeast a week ago. Police say the killer was gunning for someone else and his bullet exploded through the back window of the car Rufus and his mom were taking to a cousin's birthday party. And then I ducked right down when I, the bullet flew right past my head, through my head, and it shot my mom. I hollered the police, me him, he hollered the police. We need help. John Pierce of the Invisible Hand Foundation heard about the tragedy and decided his anonymous donors had to help. He visited the family to tell them the foundation will give Rufus a laptop and a $7,000 scholarship. This is a kid that really could use a lot of people to reach out and embrace him. Absolutely. He, he needs the strong arms of the community. Our, our mission is to lift people over obstacles. Pam Thomas was so afraid in her neighborhood, she left a eulogy for herself in her apartment. Keep something special so my kids remember me. Losing his mom, it's certainly going to be a challenge, and we want to equip him to beat that challenge. He is a bright, ambitious uh, kid, and he's having to endure the worst of circumstances. Boy, anything we can do to cushion that fall, we want to do it. The Invisible Hand Foundation is putting $7,000 in a 529 plan for Rufus, which he can use for college. His mom's going home service is now set for a week from Friday at 11 a.m. at Image of God Church on Branch Avenue in Temple Hills. The reward for information in her murder is now set at $40,000. Lorenzo. Yeah, Bruce, and I'm sure a lot of people at home are still processing this too, the fact that Pamela had a eulogy. I, 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 they go. handed me that note and I was like, mm. oh my gosh, to, wow. to live with that fear yeah. while yeah. you're trying to raise a kid. Yeah, and we can say as well that, you know, it is reassuring, it is comforting to know that when someone in our community is suffering, when a family in our community is suffering, that so many people step up to help. That's what community is all about. And if you want to donate to that drive, we're trying to make it easy for you. Text community to that number 202-895-5599 and we'll text you back with the link to our reporting. The Invisible Hand Foundation's campaign and link to a GoFundMe created by that family. That's community to 202-895-5599.